I'm going to talk a little bit about, is that the right way? No. Pensers. Oh, this is some very nice writing. So, today we're going to be talking about Pensers, Pensers calculus, and how this relates to the foundation of relativity. I can write in cursive. Great. So, oh, it's even touch screen. Wonderful. So, I suppose I'm going to have to use one board. So, let's see, can I check, change the thickness? No. Uh, zoom? Can I zoom out any more? No. Okay. So, what is a tensor? Well, imagine this. Does everybody know what a scalar is? Yes. Yeah. Say it louder. Has anybody, has, uh, oh no. Did this just lose power? Well, I guess I'll have to yell. Uh, wait, does this work? Oh, yes, I can. Please. You underestimate me. So, I'm going to take this off real quick. Uh, whose microphone is this? Please. Oh. Okay, so, does anybody know what a scalar is? Raise your hand if you know what a scalar is. Nobody? You guys are not going to pass the JE. So, what is a scalar? Well, essentially, it's just a value. Okay. Can anyone raise their hands? Does anyone know what a scalar is? Okay. Maybe it's just a... Oh. Okay. If a few people, maybe. But it's not a majority of the audience. So, I'll, I'm going to have to explain. It. So, a scalar is essentially just one value. It's just something like 3 or 7 or 191. Can anyone give me a few more examples of scalars they can think of? Uh, anyone raise their hands if they want to answer that? Anyone? Raise your hands if you want to answer that question. I know, man. I'm trying to get facilitate audience participation. So if you could please just raise them high. No one can think of examples of a scalar from what I've given. Can everybody see the board? Oh, okay. Uh, there's one guy in the back over there, so. Uh, bring yes? Okay, anything else? Uh, any whole numbers? Okay, whole numbers is a good start, but the thing is. A scalar is just any number. So a scalar is just a singular value. It can be anything on the real number line. It can be in this direction or in this direction. So it could be negative pi, or it could be e, or it can be the square root 2 to the square root 2 power. It doesn't matter what it is. That's what a scalar is. So, a scalar is just any real number. But now, let's move to the concept of a vector. Does anybody know what a vector is? Raise your hands. Okay, I see somebody. So, two. So, Vx becomes V1, and Vy becomes V2. This is just so we can generalize it past the second and third dimension into however many dimensions we want. All right, so that's how we denote the components of a vector. But now I'm going to do a little bit of a switch in notation. Actually, I think it's best if we just stop at covariant and contravariant tensions instead of getting into calculus. So we have V right over here, our vector. And instead of using subscripts, we're going to use superscripts. And the reason for this is going to be apparent later 
but just go along with it for now. This is going to be a super square. So this is just going to be V1i plus V2j if we're in two dimensions, of course. Or if we're in n dimensions, here's what we're going to do once again to generalize. Because i and j are the basis vectors in the second dimension. In the third dimension, it's k. But then in, say, the 27th dimension, maybe you can use all the letters of the English alphabet, but you still have one basis vector left. What do you use then? So instead, to generalize, we're once again going to be using numbers. i is going to be e1. j is going to be 